I want you all to really understand that whenever the fans are after you, trust me, they're going to keep on watching you. They're going to keep their eyes on you because these folks, they know how to go about it because they know you definitely expose yourself and they make sure that they get what they want. You get what I'm saying? And I also told you all that J Prince, Genium of Tars, it's not going to work free on this situation because, you know, when it comes to the situation of takeoff, and the whole clip we all watched, you know, it's not gonna go like that. You get what I'm saying? But before we get into it, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. You know, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. You get what I'm saying? But let's get straight into this demonstration, man. You know, right here we have J Prince Judah Mob Tars, and he is the leader of the Mob Tars. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's the boss. Like, he founded Mob Tars. While his father, J Prince Senior, founded Rapper Love. And ever since Takeoff died, I noticed one particular thing about the family. You get what I'm saying? They've been going on interviews after interviews. And they've been talking about this situation, which make them look so nervous, right? They look so nervous that, you know, you can say that these people are really afraid of something you get what i'm saying you really know that they are afraid of something and one thing you will realize is whenever a man is trying to speak to defend himself and whenever a man is trying to speak so loud even be, even without being asked and the man is trying to make sure that he cover up his tracks you gotta know that the person you know is trying to hide something and in this case it happens to be his pops J Prince Senior, right? J Prince Senior has been going on and on and off, right? He's been going on and off and trying to do interviews, trying to speak, trying to defend his boys. And I get it. I get it. I mean, you know, he's a father. He have to do everything possible to be, protect his family and stuff like that. I get it. But in this situation, you don't have to be speaking on an open money investigation that your sons are involved in you get what i'm saying there is no way you will mention the death of takeoff without calling the name of j prince Junior mob tires mike prince jazz prince mob tires you get what i'm saying and in other words you are calling the name of the prince family you get what i'm saying so j prince senior try everything possible best to make sure he removes the name of his boys from this particular conversation it's not going to happen you get what i'm saying it's not going to happen because no matter how you see it, no matter how logical you want it to be you know their name will still be on the issue because they are the one that invited takeoff invited quavo to come to houston they are the ones that said you know did all that instagram videos showed all that stuff they showed and on the on the camera and stuff like that so there is no way their name can be removed and i think that j prince you know Taz realized this situation that's why he he wasn't going to speak about it he tried as much as possible to keep calm but his dad kept on dragging him to speak kept on dragging him to these interviews and the worst one they did was a million dollar worth of game you know when they started speaking and started saying all that stuff to each other and everything started going crazy you get what i'm saying and uh, right now the fans are watching and the fans are chasing you get what i'm saying allegedly the fans are watching and the fans are chasing they are looking because they know that these ninjas are not clean you get what i'm saying allegedly they know that these ninjas are not clean and you have to remember that J Prince Senior already have a lot of problem with the fans and stuff like that. But J Prince Junior of Tars being arrested, sent to prison, and he was caught with a gun in a prison. Damn man, that's really crazy. And that's why Charleston Wild tried every possible best to tell us that you know these men are not really doing what they're supposed to be doing you know he told j prince senior to keep quiet you're talking too much right 
You supposed to be the mob boss. You supposed to be the you supposed to be the rap a lot boss. You supposed to be this and be there. You are the one that's supposed to tell your boys to to keep their mouth closed. Cause the more you talk, the more you expose yourself. The more you talk, the more fans are looking into you. The more you talk, the more they are looking at you as a as 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 a problem, right? They're looking at you like someone that you know that's a victim of this whole situation because you try to play victim right you try to play victim or oh, no you know they are family take off his family you know we have respect for them we'll make sure we take care of our guests and all that talk trust me they are saying okay cool this man is trying to play victim in this situation that makes him guilty you get what i'm saying it makes you guilty when you try to play victim so that's what I want you to understand. But remember, everything said in the video still remains allegedly. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you are subscribing to the channel. Make sure you are turning on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. You get what I'm saying? But you know, this is making you look more guilty. And right now, the feds are chasing J Prince Genome you know, Moptiles allegedly. You get what I'm saying? And you know, on the whole situation, because we see him in a video. You know, walking past the body of takeoff, you know, his face expression looks like he doesn't give a F, right? Now, we saw Mike Prince, you know, on the floor trying to help takeoff and stuff like that. And Jay Prince, you know, Moptaz came out to explain that, you know, that wasn't the case, that we are using like 15 seconds video to judge him when he was waiting for Mike Prince to come out to go wash up take off blood in his hand so this is one thing i want you all to understand no matter what these people do take off's blood will still be on their hand man so mike prince got take off blood all over his hand quavo and all that stuff is still going to be on their hand even though they washed it out he never left you get what i'm saying so until we get justice for take off they know they know who did this ish to take off right they know who kill take off all they gotta do is to tell us who did it let the person take the fall you get what i'm saying because right now the whole scenario yeah, people are blaming them right go on social media go on youtube go search everywhere they are trying to destroy the image and they are trying to you know bring everything to make sense but you all have to understand one thing right just understand that all you have to do, even Quavo, is to tell us who did this to take off, cooperate with the police, let justice be served, man. Whenever justice is denied, right, know that something fishy is going on behind the scene. You get what I'm saying? So, it's really crazy and doesn't make sense because right now the feds are all over you. You know, they try as much as possible to get their name off the case. I don't know how they did that, but at the end of the day, I think they all should be invited for questioning, right? They all should be invited to kind of answer some questions and, and all that stuff. You get what I'm saying? I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, but at the end of the day, you all have to know one thing, right? That, you know, whether J Prince Jr. or uh, the feds coming after him and whatever, just know that the feds are watching. You get what I'm saying? They are watching closely and that's how it goes. Remember, everything still remains allegedly. And you can also find it in the description. But, you know, share your opinions on the comment section. Tell me what you all think. Smash that like button. Catch you guys on the next clip.